All right, how's it going guys? So today we're going to put the CV axle in this E53X5. So this will be the same for the first gen X5, E53, what was it, 2000, 2001 to 2006. Um, the symptoms are, when we did the, the front control arms on this thing and the tie rods and all that business, I could see that the, the outer boot on this front passenger side axle was ripped. Like been ripped for a while, a lot of the grease was gone. So when I ordered another axle for it and just kind of let it play out, I didn't really have time to change it. So we let it play out. Now it's starting to get a little bit of play in it and we're gonna go and swap it out. Okay, so we're gonna do something very first. And this thing came from, no, I can't remember, Michigan, I believe. I think it's Michigan. Um, so we need to make sure that the CV axle is not froze to the hub. So pretty much what we're gonna do to start off with, before you do even that, we'll take some PV blaster. We'll kind of go through and just kind of spray everything that we're gonna take off. And we're gonna take off, <clears throat> we're gonna take off the sway bar link nut which is right there we're going to take off the bolt for the thrust arm the bolt and the nut and we'll have to take off the tie rod we'll have to take off the lower control arm bolt and in theory that should be all we have to take off but before we can do any of that we got to make sure that we're going to be able to get this axle out because we can't get this out there's no use to take any of this stuff apart. So, 36 millimeter. Get our big impact. Turn it all the way up. 1,100 foot pounds. That's not what this is torqued to, it's just what the impact goes up to. Nothing to it. Now, what we're going to do here, first of all, yeah, right, right? Let me get. A center punch so we can put it in the hole and tap it and see if we can just tap it right out hopefully all right so we're kind of in a weird angle but we'll see it'll come out good deal coming right out we'll just knock it back till it stops Okay, right there, it stopped. And you always want to use something to put in the center hole. Uh, that way when you hit it, it doesn't flare out the end of the CV axle. So we're gonna throw that to the side. And now we have a choice to make here. Depends on the new CV axle. So this is a two part axle. Let me go get it and we'll show you. Okay, so I didn't want to buy the same AutoZone junk that's gonna go out within a few months. And you really got to watch that. So we got this off Amazon. If you want to care for reviewing, this is GSP brand. And this is like 79 bucks. And these had awesome reviews. Look like it would actually hold up and not have any issues. And uh, come with a new nut, which is a bigger, a bigger nut. Let me pull it out of the bag. We'll show you what I'm talking about on two different options. Okay, so on this particular one, this is the outside. This goes in the wheel hub, right, with the splines. That goes in the front diff. This piece from right here to right there, that if you want to, you can separate this boot, that clamp, and just replace this piece. It just slides right out of that cup. So if you ever get in a chant or a spot on one of these, you cannot get the whole piece out of the front diff. It is an option just to pop that clamp off and just put the actual actual shaft in there only. So I don't know on this one um, how tight that clip's gonna be. It's probably a lot gonna depend on if anybody's ever replaced it before. Can't really tell by looking at it. It might be a nightmare, it might be easy, I don't know. But what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take the impact, we're gonna zip that off. Should be a 16, 17, or 18, depends on what level aftermarket stuff you got. We're gonna get a wrench. Two wrenches, we're gonna pull that bolt out 
like I said, pull that out, pull the tie right off. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. That's going to allow us to swivel this thing, the whole hub and brake. You don't have to take the brake caliper or nothing off. It's going to allow us to swivel that up out of the way, slip that axle out, slip it around to the side, and pull it out. Okay, so we got it out all in one piece. We kind of cheated a little bit. I forgot I had this slide hammer I bought here. And uh, it has a little attachment on the end. It has a little like divot, like a little hook. I was able to hook it on that lip and then slide hammer it right out. Came right out, no problem. So going back in, all we had to do is grab a hold of this and just line it up and keep clunking it in until it pushed all the way into threads in there. You can't see it from out here, but you get the idea. And uh, so yeah, you never want to hit on this with a hammer unless it's with a like a center punch or I use that that air hammer center punch thing. Uh, if you smack this just a couple times, not very hard with a hammer, it's gonna mushroom that out and then you're screwed. So here's everything apart. Like I said, we just pulled the sway bar link. Uh, we pulled the tie rod, which that's a brand new tie rod and it's already getting cracked. The boot on it, thrust arm. The bushing on the thrust arm still looks good. Um, I mean, I guess if you have a really big slide hammer, it's not that hard of a job. So without a slide hammer, you can't separate it at that joint right there. Uh, if not, you have to take the the big aluminum skid plate off and you have to get up on the other side. Usually I take a, a small pry bar or a chisel and we'll get on the lip of that right there and hit outward on it to get the pop out. Um, but yeah, the slide hammer definitely was a good a good buy. I think it was like, oh geez, I don't remember. It was cheap. It was... 50 or 60 bucks. Maybe it's only 40 bucks. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I'll, if I could find it, I'll put a link in the description. I think I bought it off Amazon. It's not. This is not a sponsored video. The link for the CV axle, the link for that, it's my Amazon affiliate. Um, I'll get a few pennies if you guys buy one of those or something that that arrangement. I'm not selling those from my house by any stretch, and neither is. I'm not selling anything from my house. Any of the videos I put links to is so you guys could actually go on there buy the exact same part i have if you want you know because you always say where'd you get that piece at where'd you get that tool at and that's what that is so i get a few pennies if you guys buy it off of there links in the description for all that stuff like always i'm not telling you anything new if you've been here for a while you already know so what we need to do at this point make sure when we put the cv axle back in the hub that that is on the correct side of the CV axle and it's gonna be on the right side so we are on the correct side you know uh, not that big of a deal to put this back together we'll put it back together I did notice that some of her shaking had a slight shake around 60 65 this one isn't too bad but the back wheel had a lot of uh, grease in it and if you have a lot of grease in it and you clean it off a lot of guys tell me that WD-40 or PB Blaster, if you spray that on there, it'll it'll penetrate that grease. You can wipe it out with paper towels. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and reinstall this stuff, and I guess I'll put it back down on the ground and see if we still got the shimmy or not. All right. So it seems like everything is good. Just went and drove it. No shaking, no shimmying. We got up around 70 on the highway. No issues whatsoever. So, our situation there is good to go. We're back to working. But I actually point the camera at me, huh? Back to working on dirt. And I'll show you guys real quick. I know some of you probably don't care. Some of you probably do. But this is where we're at. I feel like I'm digging one of those big diamond mines. So we got this giant pile of dirt. Um, we got a little more cutting to do, but it's like super, you probably can't even tell on the camera, but it's pretty good grade. Um, you know, we're at level where the string's on. You probably can't see that either. Where the string's on, then where the board stops we're gonna finish pouring is about six foot tall. So it slopes off pretty good. So in that little tractor, it's like real sketchy. 
but uh, now we got her cut down it's not really sketchy at all anymore and yeah I guess we're gonna do 24 by 24 it keeps getting bigger probably gotta go 20 24 by 30 but whatever it is what it is that's it guys so that's gonna be all for the e53 uh, CV axle it's not that bad of a job just do it get it done don't pay somebody to do it do it yourself thanks for watching